Welcome back everybody to Dragon Blocks Ultimate. Now, I haven't seen anybody cover anything in this game about money. I've seen it in a few videos beforehand, but I haven't actually did anything on it. So if any and I've had a lot of people ask me what money is used for in this game, because it doesn't do anything in the tutorial, you know? So I'm just gonna cover it here, you know. I know four four ways to use money in Dragon Blocks Ultimate. That it feels right. All right, guys. So, I'd say the first way, one of two ways, is to gain XP by money. If you guys have ever played Dragon Ball Z Final Stand, you can talk to Elder Kai to get money. This is kind of different. So. What I learned it for is Balma and I brought Time Chamber. Now, Balma right here does the Gravity Chamber, you know, where Vegeta trains in the Dragon Ball series. Dragon Ball Z series, sorry. Right there is Balma. You talk to her. She's in Central City, the first city you'll find if you're coming from the X Fighters. And then the second spot, which is where um, Kami's Lookout is, is where the Hyperbolic Time Chamber is. This one's kind of weird. I can never find it. Oh yeah, right, it's right here. It always reminds me of a cloud because it's never loaded in. But if you guys come up here, like the only two people up here, no, one person, I don't think Mr. Popo is up here. It's just Kami. You talk to him, just like the hyperbolic time, or <laughs> just like the gravity chamber, they're both 20 minutes and each one costs different zenny. This one's like 7,000, the other one's 3,000 or something. It doubles every time you use it, but it resets after your reverse. So you come up here, you talk to either um, Kami up here, Balma down there, and they ask you to go in the chamber or whatever, and it costs whatever Zenny. Mine costs that much, so that's mine. So, there we go. And it won't let me get out of it. Crap. Alright, there we go. Um, Alright, so the next spot here, I use this quite a bit. If you ever watch Atlas Zero, he uses it a lot. Um, it's the Appearance Changer. Now, there's the Appearance Changer down here in this city. I'm just going to call this West City because I don't know any other city what this would be called. There's two different Bardock looking people. The one down there, right down there, that guy changes um, what side you're on. You know, if you go to the menu, or sorry, if you go to skills and you go to like forms or whatever, if you see different things like this, the red, it's evil side, if you, if you can see right there, evil side right under the rebirth tab, um, and then good side. And there's a bunch of different things for evil and good. So over there is where evil and good changer is. I think it's 20k, I believe. I might be wrong on that. I'll go check on that in a second. But right here is the appearance changer. So you can change your appearance or whatever. So let me just do Vegito again. So Vegito's hair. Oh my god, right here. Outfit. Vegito's outfit right here. Face. It would be... Oh my god, I hate this. I'm going to say this one. And then colors. Just do whatever color you want. I'm just doing Vegito again. So you do this. Eye color is black. Skin color is the same. Whatever. Energy color yellow. And it resets you, but... I decided it's, um... Bardock's guy. So let me go back over here in a second, but... Before I do that, this is what it does. It takes you to wherever you spawn, and it changes your character. It looks exactly the same, because I just did Vegito. But yeah, let me go back over to the Bardock and show you what Evil Side does. Alright everybody, we're back at Bardock. <laughs> now, we talk to him real quick. I'm not going to switch sides though, because I, I like the good side and all my masteries on here. But if you come over here, hey, it is 20k Zenny. So you talk to him, you pay him the 20k Zenny, and you're able to switch sides. So you'll be able to be evil, unless you're evil, then you get to be good. That's pretty much what that does. And those are, for, those are all the uses for Zenny right now. When he, has his, when he adds the developer of the game, when he adds the new update, I'm guessing there's going to be more uses. I don't know, maybe Wii's training, I have no idea. Don't quote me on that, I'm just guessing. But right now, that's, those are the only uses. I don't know why those are it, because you can literally go to the shop and you can buy like tons of Zenny. You can buy like 50k, which is like way over expensive, but... You can do that and stuff. I don't know why you'd buy so much. I mean, I wish there was more uses for it, but yeah, that's it right now in the game. So if you guys enjoy it, I don't mind if you comment down below any questions you have for the game. I'll answer them to the best of my ability. If you don't like the video, subscribe. I wouldn't mind as well. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. Peace.